All right, YouTube, we're going to play some Legacy Grixis Controller today. Just kind of switch it up. I don't play this deck very often, so I don't know a whole lot about it. But I played a warm-up match today, and I played a mirror, and I, I beat a Karanos. My opponent resolved a Karanos, and I still won. So I feel like I have feel like achievement unlocked. My audio settings got messed with, so if you... Let me know if my audio is choppy. Yeah, this was just, I took John Rossum's list from the last SCG and I just made this a dread bore for the True Name Nemesis because I thought one True Name Nemesis in the sideboard was kind of odd, but it, it, it might be wrong. Uh, but I don't know too, too much about this deck. I just kind of wanted to jump in and play something different. Give something else a whirl. I feel like the discard spells in this deck are odd. Like the fact that there's just two random one ups. I don't know how good. Like if I want if I want discard spells, I feel like I'd want a lot of them. But I don't know. I feel like we want a lot of them or none of them. I don't play this deck often, so this likely is not going to be perfect. So so there'll be some probably little sequencing mistakes that'll made, but hopefully we get the gist of it. I would like to play first. And this hand is decent. We'll keep this. Well, this hand's actually not that great. <clears throat> I kind of want to lead on Badlands. But if my Badlands gets wasted, it's going to kind of feel bad. I'm going to lead on the island so that it doesn't get wasted. And then there's a chance that if I have to brainstorm for a force, I can. So the only thing that I can hit for interaction off of this Badlands is either a Force or a Discard spell. Playing against Island, it's probably worth it to ponder. So this lets me him next turn. So let's keep this, play this out here, hope that we don't get whacked if we get like you know show and tell or something like that we can always fetch away all right so we're playing against miracles so i don't remember how i stacked it but i believe i put a colagon's command second i thought that colagon's command or ponder yeah that's okay so let's just get i could just get a swamp to not get back to basics let's do that Okay. Now we'll use our last mana to ponder. Snapcaster, Colagon's Command, and another basic. I probably want all of these. Just want to hit my land drop so that I can start doing some, some good stuff later in the game with K Command loops. It looks like my opponent drew a terminus. I'm just going to slam a back to basics, okay. So we're out of red mana. We don't really have a good way to get that thing off the board, actually. So maybe I shouldn't have kept my K command. Accumulated knowledge, okay. Seems like an odd one to main phase. Alright, doesn't seem as odd anymore. I think I'm going to Snapcaster a Ponder. Because what am I looking for? I'm looking for just some more counter. I can't. If I Snapcaster Ponder, though, I lose my. I lose my. Um, the source. I think I'm just going to Snap him, my opponent.
If it was back to basics resolving, I think I'm going to need a little bit more pressure. And my opponent just got a two for one, so now, at least now we're on the board, we can help fight a Jace a little bit. But I'm probably in a lot of trouble here. Card is good. I used to have a bunch of these, and I don't have any idea where they are. But I remember, like, back when they weren't worth anything, I don't know, like 10 years ago, I had some back to basics. All right, that's nice. So I'll start by attacking. My opponent just brainstormed, so I feel like we're gonna get terminus, but we can probably start with a brainstorm here. These are not good. We definitely have to shuffle our AK command unless we keep both lands, which both lands might not be bad. So let's go like this, play this land. This is Terminus. Okay, so I'll let this go. Each one of my cards already replaced themselves. Let's fetch. Probably going to fetch a red source. Jeez. So I could go fetch an island, but there might be a line of play where I want to go Jace plus Gurmag Angler. I think we're far enough behind that keeping the option to, okay. I would love to force there, but, oh, there's the force. So now I guess we play this angler. I should have probably left that land, though I'm probably not gonna brainstorm it away because I need, um, if I want red mana, Get sword. The phone doesn't really have a lot going on, but neither do we. <clears throat> so they have blasts in their deck. I wonder if all these decks play back to basics and the blasts. Like it seems to be a little rough. It's rough on the mana. We already got some people rolling in this morning. It's nice to see everyone. I hope everyone's having a good Sunday. Should move this over a tad. Tough brainstorm for my opponent. No, you can't take it home with you. Especially if they're going to fetch a random one here. Predict. Wow, they didn't, they didn't even cast the predict. So this means that we have an incoming Jace. Oh, how sick would this K command be here? How many is this? Want to? We're gonna make four angels. Uh, 
All right, let's keep going for a little bit here. Likely dead, but I mean, we were probably dead when this back to basics hit. This is 12. We can't kill another one. It's 12. And then three. So we need to find like a Jace to just survive. Yeah, now we're dead. Yeah, I probably lost. I lost this game when I got back to basics. I probably just wasn't thinking enough. Oh, Moto Sleep now. Now, when I saw Reduke sideboard for this at GP Reduke, he brought in Surgical. Which seemed a little. I don't know, it seemed like a lot. I mean, maybe he just brought these in. Let me see what I want to take out. So I want these. I want these anglers are gone. Probably don't want the pushes or the edicts. Got to worry about monastery mentor. Then probably can cut like a force. So it's like the surgicals better than like a force or a bolt or a random. Maybe like a deluge is okay. We have like three ways to kill mentor. Um, and I guess if you want to count command, we have a couple more. I don't really know if I want, I think I would rather have force than surgical when I have so many two for ones in my deck already to recoup it. So let's just try this. It's not gospel what we're doing here, but. I think I think a lot of people over like over sideboard their forces. Like I think the common thing is like you're supposed to take all your forces out even when it's fair. But I don't know. I just find that to be like super important. All right, so we have a pyroblast for a uh, back to basics, which we're gonna have to probably hold this for because this is gonna find me a bayou. Not buy you an underground sea. I could blast this cantrip, but I think this has kind of got underground, this got back to basics written on it. I think if I was looking to play a fast game, like if I was a Delver deck, I think I would just snap this blast off. But. We're looking to play a little, a little slower here. <coughs> they did not shuffle. It's not a bad draw. Just a little bit of, a little bit of insurance. Get underground C. Get our bird out there. <coughs> All right, blasts are good. So I could brainstorm, but I, I don't really mind any of my cards. So I think we're just gonna like hold up here. Like I might wanna shuffle away this force, but that's kind of the only card that I really care to shuffle away. Just kind of like the rest of my hand. So now I think I'm likely to um, brainstorm because this card isn't super great. And I wouldn't mind another red source. 
Okay, so we don't want this. I'm gonna keep this force. It is it's like keep it in my back pocket. This will probably find me an island. Now I'm gonna be much more liberal with uh, blasting something. Because I've got two and a Snapcasting Mage. Yeah, let's just start to... Well, now I guess we're just going to blast things that matter. They have six cards in their hand. If they didn't have a lot of cards in their hand, I guess we would blast this. But there's just no need. I'm going to fetch on my upkeep. I just don't want to... There's no need to, like, take the shields down. I'm just going to get an island. Or I could just get... We're just going to get another red... We're just going to get another duel. I don't, wanna, I don't really want to snap brainstorm because I would like to keep this snapcaster mage as a uh, as like another red blast or pyro blast. You gonna terminus me, buddy? No, I gotta fetch another upkeep. Okay, fetch red. There's white. So I could force this, or we can just untap. The problem is, this thing resolves. It's pretty annoying, but I don't really have any cards that I want to pitch. But what are they going to do? They're going to go like cantrip, cantrip. Like, I could force this. If I had played my land, I would be much happier. And we're just gonna let this go. And we can trade off with the tokens. Start here. <clears throat> All right, you can brainstorm. And plus, if we had to trade off with the tokens, then our Kologon's commands become much better. They don't get, like, Terminus or Plowed. <clears throat> oh, this is bad because of that. Okay, okay. Because this now this can resolve. And it gets over the bolt. So I should have dreadboard it. Because they can just cast two spells. Yeah, that was a mistake. I went over my head. Our bolt still effectively trades with Flusterstorm, but they get two 1-1s. One I guess they would have gotten both 1-1s one out of it anyways. Okay. Yeah, so this is a little sloppy on my part, I think. Now we're going to blast this force. My opponent does have three monks, but between Snapcaster Mage, the Lightning Bolt, and the Baleful Strix, we'll likely be able to deal with them. I'm a little worried about if they just slam a Jace here, but there's not much we can do about it. I mean, we could have obviously... Done some things about it too. Accumulated knowledge. Do they have another one in their graveyard? No, so that's just the two mana draw one. <clears throat> I guess I should have fought over that mentor. Yeah, you get your brainstorm. Then we're going to trade and take six. Council's Judgment. I 
think we're gonna force this. I don't want to take 12. A Kolagon's command would be pretty nice right now. That's pretty great too. <clears throat> All right, now we're in good shape. I think we're just going to sit on this. Like, we have Blast for Jace. Um, the one thing we're not covered, we're not covered from a uh, Entreat the Angels. So I think I'm going to snap Ponder now because, um, or Brainstorm, excuse me, because we have another um, Snapcast Mage. I shouldn't have brainstormed now that I think about it. Like, I thought I had a ponder. Now, I'll fetch a basic here. And get our Baleful Boy in play. Okay. It's going to be decent for next turn. All right. Counter target spell is the blue. Don't have a follow up. Okay. So now we can pick this off. Snap bolt this. Okay, that's gas. So let's go here. Um. I'm gonna attack. I don't think that they're gonna trade off, but and then I'm just gonna go target player discards a card. I could get like a little raked over the coals here if they have something to use to do here, but I think they would have if they had something to fight with, they would have fought over uh, the back to basics. So Snap Bolt kills them, but I think we're killing them anyways. And I would like to just hold my Snapcaster um, for if we need it. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. <clears throat> no. So now we've got them dead to just like Snapcaster Lightning Bolt, and then we just counter this. And then we know their last card is a is an island. Okay. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Yo, these two games have been fun. This deck does like I don't really know how good this deck is. Like I don't really know how good any deck in Legacy is, to tell you the truth, but like it does create some really interesting games. That is for sure. I hope the uh I don't I don't know if anybody's chit chatting. I can't see it. But I hope everyone's having a if they are I hope Twitch doesn't have a problem. Usually, have 24 people. Some people are saying hi, but if there's an issue with the Twitch chat, let me know. Let me see. Uh, I think we're just gonna keep it the same. 
I don't really think this is a play draw matchup. Okay, there it is. It's going to be a short stream today. Probably just stream until about 10.30. My in-laws are in town. And um, got to go to hang out with them this afternoon. All right, yep, we're going to keep this. We have discard spell into him into the old sculptor. So we can actually fetch a basic swamp here. And not feel bad about it. Inquisition's nice right here. I think we're just going to take this Mentor. Like, Mentor is just the scariest card. Snap's a two for one, but Mentor is like the card that is going to kill me, and we can keep up with Snapcaster Mage. So, we pretty much just want to run him out of the gym. What is he playing? Is We hit Jace, Council's Judgment. Okay, so. We don't want any of these, I don't think. I don't get why people replace Louis Veil in the last part. Veil is so great. It looks. I don't know either Flippo Magic, like. I don't know quite enough to comment. What is this? Are they brainstorming? Is this a back to basics? No, it's a ponder. Okay. And we're just going to jam this Jace. We're going to fetch an island, maybe go fetch a swamp, and then just go to town. Well, the problem is, is that they can just Snapcaster Council's Judgment like Jace. I think now we're going to wait because we drew a land. This also defends me against like Pyroblast. Accumulating knowledge, okay. Liliana the Last Hope does actually win the game while Liliana the Veil doesn't. And I would assume that Liliana the Last Hope, Liliana the Last Hope is just much better against creatures. And once you get um, Snapcaster Mage in the mix, Last Hope, Recurring Last Hope is pretty sweet. All right, so let's go get an island. We give him two cards, but we'll have Jason play. And we will definitely blast this. Did they pitch their Snapcaster Maze? That's interesting. So this leaves us open to a Fluster Storm, but let's just hope their last card is a Fluster Storm. Looks like it is. All right. Let's just hope they don't have like a good power play to resolve next. All right. So we have five mana force up, so we don't need to play any more lands. We're winning anyways. That's not – so I don't know how necessarily true that is because like it's a symmetrical effect that hurts you and your opponent. I think it's much better in like a Jun deck, but I don't know how good it is in this kind of a deck. But this deck might just be like the legacy version of Jun. All right, let's thought seize. Need to play a land. 
All right, let's take this red elemental blast. We could take Entreat, but I think Red Blast is like overall it's much better because it's so much cheaper. Well, that was a good one. Okay. So all these cards are pretty great, with the exception maybe of the Force. I want to shuffle. So I guess I could put back like Force and Fluster Storm. That doesn't leave me with a lot of counter magic. I could put back Dreadbore and Fluster Storm. Though this K Command is not really doing me very much, but if I find a creature, this K Command is going to be pretty great. I think I'm going to ditch the Dreadbore and the um, Dreadbore and the Force. You want discard? You don't want discard the veil of the non blood control. Last hope gets back snaps. I think the yeah, I think that's like the big deal breaker is that last hope just recurs. Um, it just recurs much better. What is this? Endelian click. All right, we're gonna let this resolve, and then we're gonna Coligon's command it. Who are they targeting? Targeting themselves. Okay, so you get rid of that. And now let's just go. What do we get? We got a back to basics. Not bad. So now do I want to draw this force of will? This is the million dollar answer. I don't think I do. Let's just get our swamp because our mana colors are good. Okay. Let's wait one more turn before we hymn them. I almost want to wait to him them until we can get like a threat. But they're also drawing cards, so like Alright, let's him them because they have two cards. They ditched mentor and an island. Alright. Okay, you get the preordain. Need like a snapcaster or a baleful strix. Accumulated knowledge. They already have one of these. They have two. So, Fluster Storm. They would be able to pay for Fluster Storm, unfortunately. Wow, that's that's not bad. I think I'm just gonna cash this in while I can. Need a bomb. Okay, that kind of counts. That definitely counts. So, I wish I had a, I have a brainstorm. I guess I'm going to play my fetch land and then hold my snapcaster mage up and then like snap brainstorm at the, or, or have red, snap red blast up. We just need like, we're a little low on, re, we're like behind on resources here. Yeah, you get your cantrip. So you could have just put like an entreat or something on top, but we need we need some help. Counter spell, okay. Alright, we're definitely attacking. At least now our snapcaster is in our in our graveyard, so that if we do hit a K command, which is one of our better draws here, we're in good shape.
put these back. Shuffle away. We're just going to brainstorm again. So we can shuffle. We can make a cantrip here. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's put back this. This. That's our last card. We have another one on top. So let's just not use our force. They know their top card. They're shuffling it away. Oh, it's underneath one. All right. No. Deal with the old five mana force. And now that we have K command, we have a, we got snap going too. And we're going to make sure to shuffle at the end of my opponent's turn because we don't want our top card. You guys are just going to go snap accumulated knowledge. All right. Get back Snapcaster Mage. And again, I think we're just going to wait. And then, like, because we have Snap Red Blast up, we can then go Snap K Command at the end of their turn. And we can just rebuy it. Yeah, this is why the Last Hope is, is better, I think. Turn and target creature from your graveyard or discard. Or they discard. They discard a land. Makes sense. Start by attacking. So now that we've got the snap red blast, I thought it was just getting ground into the dirt. Yeah. So we want to keep this force. We don't need the him. Keep these. I kind of hate these complex battles. My opponent says they hate the top deck battles. Um, I guess I want to go him. Draw the fetch land before we jace next turn. I just scoop it up. Nice. God, this deck does create some very interesting games. Does create some solid, solid gameplay. I had a super. This this match here was also against Grixis Control, and I beat an onboard onboard Karanos in game three or game two. I think my opponent didn't play very well. Like, I think they could have played better to leverage it. Like, they were very behind on cards because they like exhausted a lot of their resources to resolve the Karanos, and instead of trying to manage the board and catch up on cards, which I think they could have done, they tried to kill me. And I just slowly kind of ground out and like burned them out. I think they definitely, I think there's things they could have done differently. I like this deck. 
I haven't played against a combo deck. I'm assuming this deck would kind of struggle against a combo deck because it just doesn't have a reliable clock. But the last hope was definitely absolutely insane in that last game. I mean, maybe not insane. What did what did I do? I guess it like it came on too late. Like it would have been insane if it would have been insane um, if like the game had gone on longer. I'm gonna go grab a another cup of coffee. Okay. Kind of want the ensnaring bridge. I appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out today. I don't do too much legacy content, so it's nice to see, you know, 20 some odd people in here supporting it when it happens. We're going to keep this. We'll land in a ponder, so we might fight over this ponder, especially if we miss a land drop. Unmask targeting us. That can't be good. About to get all reanimated here. I usually play modern and a lot of standard, so it's it's nice to see a crowd. Can you get me, bud? Looting. Looting doesn't mean I'm dead. Lotus Petal, Gristle Brand, Lotus Petal. Get to reanimate. No reanimate. Wow. So we need forces or lands, pretty much. That's where we are at. I guess we stack it like this. Draw a land, next turn we can ponder. We, yeah, we can ponder because that's on top. Flashback Baker Fluting, maybe. It's kind of a heavy cost ditching this. But it's not like they need a lot to kill us from here. I would just, if I was my opponent, I would probably just go pedal to pedal. Like, You've got to finish these games quickly. Discards Gristlebrand, Elish Man. So the card underneath is a land. I don't think we can afford to draw that or have that be in our ponder. So let's just go. It's an uncastable, but we should make it through. I guess we need to make it through this turn and top deck a red source or black source. Because if we him them, we might be in good shape. Looks like they're just like missing. All right, well, now we're going to go like this just because we kind of got to. Maybe I'm supposed to like more aggressively keep lands. This ham's not that great either. Cause it's like it's not like they're sitting there waiting. Like if they, if they're gonna him me if they have it. That's not bad. Though I don't even really want to play it. Like I kind of just want to like baleful strix again. Because like if they had a reanimate they would cast it so i think we're just looking for counter spells not hand disruption i guess i should have done it there because i'm not using my mana yeah i definitely should have inquisitioned all right so now we're just going to jace 
Jace gives me three looks at a um at a whatever it is at a force and I can at least on board bounce a creature if they decide to put it into play like I that's you know not obviously not great but it is something we got pretty lucky we're, we're pretty lucky to still be playing this game that yeah, we're I could have fate seal, but they have a fetch land. Don't do it. They're not doing it. So now I'm probably going to try to him, maybe like Inquisition him them. Just give me their underground. Brainstorm. I should attack first. Okay, we don't want this. Don't want this. So let's attack. Keep this brainstorm because the the third card down could be a force. I think we're just going to hem them, try to get them hellbent, and then be able to, um, we get them, so the last card, Chandler. If we get them hellbent, then we can start, like, draw step blocking them out of the game. Anime dead, gristle brand. Brainstorm. Oh, shoot. Okay. So you get a Gris Brand. We can, I mean, they're going to be able to draw a bunch of cards. They can draw seven cards. And then we can bounce it, and then we can, like, him them. We can, like, him and then snap Inquisition. And then get another Brainstorm off of Jace and a Brainstorm here. Well, we're going to have to bounce this to their hand. Another creature is going to be pretty hard to but it would have to be like thought sees, okay. So that's actually they're actually dead if they don't take well they're dead anyways, because we bounce this, snap K command, shoot them. So those little peck shots weren't bad. I mean they could they could reanimate their Elish Norn, obviously, and that that would be not good for the home team. But even if they reanimate Elish Norm, we just bounce this. We can no longer snap K command. Dark Ritual. In tune. Was it like a Tide Spout Tyrant? In tune for Tide Spout. Okay. Exhume. So now it's like, can you cast a spell? Lotus Petal. Okay. It probably bounces Jace. So we're definitely bouncing this this uh, gristle brand here. I could also just like brainstorm for a lightning bolt because one well, that doesn't actually kill them. I guess we should start with a brainstorm. And I'm going to just attack with both of my Baleful Strix because if they don't block, the Snap K command is just lethal next turn. Kind of have to block. At least that's what I... I think they have to block. Okay, wow. So they're going to try to kill me this turn through a Force.
This game was nice. So they have one card. It's a, they've got Chancellor and Gristlebrand. Whatever this is, has to give it, it's got to be a discard spell or gain them life. Faceless Guardian. Uh, yeah, you can have that, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's bouncing a baleful stretch. Sounds good. They ditch Chancellor. So they still have Gristlebrand in their hand. Gristlebrand and two unknowns. Unmask. Exiling. They exile Gristlebrand. So they bounce Baleful Strix. They take a Snapcaster Mage. And we still have Force Up. I think we're good. We're just hold here. Yeah, I don't. I, I just took a list. Like I don't know enough about it. So cold. Yeah, we're just gonna let this happen. We have two. We force the next discard spell, and then we snap K command them. Push does seem kind of weird without Tarmogoyf in the format. Like you think you would just want four lightning bolts, but it might make the mana easier. So you can go like underground C push, underground C him. But like having having like four bolts in the deck would help with all the Snapcaster Mage recursion. Or just like a way to win. Okay, so does Needle do anything? We can Needle Gristlebrand. Take these surgicals and these fluster storms. I don't know if needling Gristlebrand actually matters. I know this card doesn't matter. Uh, this card doesn't matter. My Coligon's commands don't seem that great. Jace. If I can get Jace in play, it's going to be okay. And I guess I just take out Lightning Bolts. I guess, I mean, I could shave some of my grindy stuff. Like, maybe I just... I kind of want Gurbag Angler. I kind of want, like, Bolt... K command for reach. Gurmag Angler kind of wins the game. Edict is like whatever. I guess it kills something to get into play. I guess it's just taking these lightning bolts out. Oh. I don't know. I'm going to take out these Coligans commands. Sort by converted mana cost. So is Needle worth it? Needle hits Gristlebrand. And that's it. We have five ways to deal with a five. We have five, nine ways to just deal with a lifelinking 7-7 seven, seven in play. So it's probably worth it. Yeah. Needle Gristlebrand. Give that a give that a whirl. They kept seven. Hands like not good enough. All right, we got a force. No chancellor. I don't know if I'm supposed to go further down here, but this is this is where we're at. Yeah, you get my card.
Yeah, push does cleanly kill Mentor. We watched in my first match where I just I got punked by a monastery mentor. So I think we do want these brainstorms. Because we're we're gonna want brainstorm to you know clear up the gunk. Well, the question is, do we fetch before? Because our other two cards aren't great. I mean, it's Brainstorm and Jace, but like, so we draw one, we get to see two new cards, and then we can see two, we can see five new cards, I guess. Okay, they're probably gonna take a brainstorm. We could take Jace. You know. Okay. So each player puts the top with the creature card. Each player puts a creature card from their graveyard onto the battlefield. Do they have to target, or is it just like it doesn't target? Do you think they only have one creature, so surgical is also live? So we have surgical or force. Can you? So they're gonna get a gristle dad. They were pretty much dead. We had seven outs there. A little unfortunate to look at so many cards and not find one, but you know. We can hit an edict, but they still have seven cards in their hand. Hang over, yes. All right, let's see if there's anything cool they sideboarded in, and then we're just going to go to Scoop Town, USA. Yeah, it's not bad. Dreadboard's also a hit, Lacey. Yep, you're right. So now we have to be on the play, which is nice. It does kind of feel bad to lose to Red Black when they didn't turn one me or Chancellor me. On You know, like that kind of feels bad. But I think we're just going to run it back the same. Where's the restart moto? I guess I should have my Dreadbore in my deck. Like, Dreadbore's probably better than Lightning Bolt. Yep. Shit. Yeah, I think I've got a mulligan. I mean, I can ponder. If I ponder. I get to look at four cards for seven outs. I think I can go to six. Okay, yeah, this is, whew, this is a heater. Keep my opponent mulligan as well, which is nice. Good guy, OP. Now we just need something. They're mulligan again. Now we just need something to win the game. Because we're going to have them, that's what that's what's going to win us the game. We're going to hem them on two. It's, we're, gonna, we're, we're obviously like could be enabling them, but with surgical and force, I think we just want to like get everything out of their hand. 
Uh, let's see, LB. Let's see, but yeah, I should I shouldn't have I should have boarded the lightning bolt out. That was a mistake on my part. Okay, so we get Gristlebrand and Animate Dead. I think we're gonna wait because they're obviously they're gonna target Gristlebrand with whatever they do. And we're gonna wait to surge glitch so we get another car in them. Uh, I don't think I should have played that land. I guess I'm gonna want my third land. So now, take this, take this. All right, now let's get a look here. I hate how Moto doesn't do this so you can't see what they have going on. The carpet of flowers and unmask in their hand. They've got one, two, th they have three chancellors, one Norn, one Stormtide, one Leviathan. We just drew needle. So we should just needle polluted delta with the information that we have. So let's just needle delt with needle polluted delta, I guess. We could leave it in our hand to to brainstorm away because they already have their mana. Yeah, I should have. I should, I'm just gonna leave the needle in my hand. I shouldn't have fetched either. It's all right. I made a mistake, but it's it's good to not compound your mistake by making another mistake because like. Their mana's already set up. I don't think there's any other card in their deck that worth like I I'm not good at legacy. I'm not new I'm new to legacy. Is there any other card here that's worth needling? That's good. Like there's nothing else that works. It's not like like I, like it's just needling a land, basically. So I think we're just gonna we're just going to um, leave it in our hand to brainstorm away. Though we would have liked to not do that fetch. All right, so they ditch Carpet of Flowers and Unmask. They play the land. <laughs> They're going to flashback looting, which is not great with one card. Decided not to watch fight last night because I wanted a lazy guy. I forget that now. Yeah, he lost. I I thought so. I think that people that knew what was going on in the fight game like should have seen that coming. But McGregor has always like you know gone over the top. I'm gonna just Inquisition because we need to. Entomb. Okay. Because like anybody that knows a lot about uh, Nerf, I, I can't pronounce his name. Like he's what he was twenty six and zero, and he would have been like on top of the division had he not um, had dealt with so many injuries. So I could surgical one of these cards, but I don't really want to. I, I kind of want to just hold my Snapcaster Mage for another counter spell. Now that we have another blue card, how's it going, Archmage? Because like now we have effectively two counter spells. Beeb, yeah. I mean, like, I don't know. No one knows how to pronounce his name. Yeah, I mean, we're just going to... 
like this makes the faith of saluting worse. Like while we like we don't really have to worry about a discard outlet because they have looting. Cuts off one of my counter spells, but such is life. We have one more. Okay. Yeah, like but anyone that's been paying attention knows that that guy is the absolute stones. So I think I don't even really want to play my Jace. It's two cards. Out of out of their two cards, they need a way to put Fatty into the graveyard and they need a way to put um Fatty into play and we have that covered with this here. So might not be right to play my Jace, but I'm going to play my Jace because it's sweet. Dude, I don't doubt it. You got to get some spit in your age when you say it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like when um, Khabib just took the uh, took the um, went out into the stage or into the stands. I just hope that, like, I don't think McGregor is, like, really, I mean, obviously, so there's, like, two ways to say this, because, like, McGregor is obviously good for the game, because good for the sport, because he brings eyes to it, but, like, he's not a very good role model. But then again, like, neither is Floyd Mayweather, so maybe that's just, like, the fight thing. He probably fought two bears. Have you seen that guy? Peter. I oh, mean, we can't hit him on two. Maybe we'll get lucky. Depending on what we're playing against. Here's like all the old big brain questions that I always have. If we're playing against a combo deck, is it right to go Polluted Delta Brainstorm at the end of their turns so that we can him them? It's going to actually, like, there's actually, I think, a little bit of a debate to whether I should crack both lands to him the next turn, because it makes our brainstorm pretty bad. Okay. I don't really know how to play against Dryad Arbor decks. It's like Elf. I'm going to get worked here if I play Elves. I just don't know. Um, I kind of want to brainstorm for a crappy blue card. Because this thing's just going to bury me. So I don't really want to force. Like, I could go force, pitch, brainstorm. But what am I looking for? I think I want to brainstorm because I want to have double black up. Okay. So we are going to end up getting rid of our Snapcaster, which kind of sucks. But we can just go... Oh, I should have shuffled away a ham. That was stupid. I should have shuffled away a ham. I guess, like... Pretty bad having all the lands. And then we can K command this next turn. Just get bad lands because we bad. Let's figure out what we're playing here. Okay, so we are playing against elves. Alright, so there's a cradle. Oh, this works how I want it to, right? Because this effectively like double stone rains them. This is the peak time to actually play the format before it gets... When are we going to play standard? I, we've been playing standard all week. They are Archmage. Well, not all week. I guess the last couple times I've streamed.
Uh, let's wait till next turn. Just keep my graveyard intact. I'm going to hold my land and then him them. Hopefully we get two things. We didn't do this first. This is looking for like a removal spell. No, we don't want any of these. It's like a natural order is our last card, or a glimpse, Green Sea Zenith. I don't really want to play my lands. Well, I guess like we should play a land to keep up appearances. <clears throat> okay, so that shuts that off, which is great. We should do it on the upkeep so that they don't just go fetch a Dryad Arbor. And then... Um, like have the Dryad Arbor be able to tap as well. Because now the Dryad Arbor is summoning sick. They have to go get Dryad Arbor to have Cradle make mana. And effectively, they just don't make a lot of mana this turn. Sweet. Okay, so Liliana is probably good. Deluge is good. Casualties is good. Um, is it worth needling? What's the card you would needle? It's like Wirewood Symbiote, right? I don't really know. Like, I'm probably going to – I think I'm going to get worked here. Wirewood. Exclamation card. Wirewood. Exclamation point card. Wirewood Symbiote. Return an L if you control its hand. Untap target creature. Because isn't this how they just grind me out? Let's talk about cards we don't want. Gurmag Angler is probably not great. Um, Diabolic Edict is not great. But maybe like you just keep Diabolic Edict in because it says like kill target creature. Um... I gotta think force is important. Like forcing glimpse. Probably can trim like one of these and one of these. This sideboarding is certainly not gospel, but we're I think this is what we're gonna do. I could like surgical a piece, but that seems loose. I don't think Blood Moon's gonna do anything against them. Yeah, let's just go like this. Yeah, Edict just says like kill a creature. I like this deck. Like, I, I'm not sure how it is from. I didn't even text my stepdad. Give me my father in law. Um, I don't know how good it is. Yeah, heater. From a uh, like a competitive standpoint, but it does create a lot of fun games of magic. Oh man, you gotta thought tease me. Oh, here's a druid. I think I'm gonna thought seize them. Leaves me like obviously we could get just wrecked here, but yeah, it's a good deck. Don't fall into modern player trap and cyborg and surgical deck. Clearly, yeah. Um. So Trophy's going to hit this. Trophy's going to hit this. They might Trophy this. I don't really want to take a Trophy. I kind of just want to take a Green Sun Zenith. Though there's the argument that I can just kill whatever they Green Sun Zenith for. So I could hit a Trophy to have either one of these two survive. I hope they Trophy this Needle though. So maybe I should leave them. So here's like the big brain move. If I leave them with both Trophies, maybe they Trophy this Needle, which gives me another land. 
So I think I would just want to take this green team game. That, like, I don't really know if that's greedy, but they're a little short on mana. I think I'm going to just try this. We're going to take this Zenith. And, like, if this is 100% wrong, if this is 100% wrong, I, I understand. Ooh, the jig is up. <clears throat> that's what I like about, like, I can... Oh, they're going to take that. Okay, so a lot of players. So here, I think we're going to go brainstorm. So we did hit lands. Let's shuffle back. I guess I need to worry about a choke, right? So if I keep this Badlands, keep this, keep this, I can go fetch another Badlands, then I can't cast Jace, or this, you have this deck, well you can get them, nope, I don't want to get choked, I'm starting to think that like I'm going to win this game kind of going away as long as I don't like lose my mind. So the last card is Heritage Druid. But I can go get another bad lands. I think I'm going to do that. We need to draw another land for Jace anyways. Let's just get into, like, how do we lose territory? Oh shit, we were sitting there talking about Badlands. I just typed Badlands into the stupid thing. God damn it. Ugh. That's the problem sometimes that people get when you like, when you get going into a stream is that you just don't think about what you need to do. Like you get stuck on the, the point that you're making and you just like miss something. Yeah, like that was not good at all. Yeah. Well, at least now we can snap Thought sees a trophy. You're more on the combo in the game. Yeah. So now it's like, do we deluge? We probably just deluge. And then hope that our opponent plays into the casualties if I had to guess. It would be sick if this was like a Wirewood symbiote because then they would they would be using it. Yeah, so let's just... What are we worried about? I guess we're worried... So we know they're, they're no other cards. The last card is a Heritage Druid. So let's just take... This isn't really a two-for-one. It's kind of like a one-for-one one because both of our cards traded. But let's just clear the board here. Hopefully they go like end of turn Dryad Arbor into uh, whatever, into Heritage Druid. Just hope they don't hit a natural order here, and then we should be good. Okay, so Visionary is a, a solid draw. So we still have a Heritage Druid left. Heritage Druid lets them go play Heritage Druid. No, can't do that. All right, so now we're going to take the two for. Force is nice. <laughs> this is just like such an LOL. Choke. I just don't really want to deal with that. So they have two trophies. So I should use my mana and then just go Snapcaster, 
Thought sees the assassin's trophy. Then I'll Inquisition an assassin's trophy. They likely use it. They might not even use it because it turns on Jace. That's not a bad draw. Yeah, now they can't use it. They're just going to let this happen. Because if they use this, next turn I just Jace them. And I don't think we're going to trade two damage for one damage. Like, we're already at 10. I think we're cool just blocking. Okay, the trophy mount. That's a that's that's a pretty solid play, I think. Like if you're gonna use it, that's what you use it on. So we'll go get an island. At least effectively trading, because I still gotta land. I kinda wanna eat it now. Like what other creatures am I worried about? Because I either stone rain them, this just turns off natural order. So let's just eat it now. Because they can go fetch dry ever. No, I guess it doesn't turn off natural order. If they let the edict resolve, it does. Just gonna go up, hold this back. Oh, this could be five mana Nissa. Didn't think about that. Okay. Six. Because I didn't want them to fetch Dryad Arbor and attack this back, but I didn't think about five mana Nissa. This is going to be a problem. I was just in like, I would like, I am Gnarls. I was just in like, how do I lose territory? And I determined like the way that I do lose is by, um, is by losing this, but I think I messed up. Yeah, this needle would be sweet. So this goes here. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna block. What am I looking for? I probably actually shouldn't have blocked so that I can protect my Jace. Because now they're just going to, like, wreck me out of this game. Probably just, like, super dead now. Roll down, get Baleful Strix, fetch, bolt this, and like try to fight through it. Oh, we're so dead. We're so dead because of this. I gotta think, I'll, I'll remember this needle for next game. I guess I could have gotten a Snapcaster Mage. It's probably a little slow. Probably Snapcaster Mage is better to, to combine, like try to bolt snap bolt this thing. I might as well just bolt this because I'm not, well, hang on. Maybe they'll ult it. If they ult it, I think we can keep up with them drawing an extra card.
as long as we don't have to deal with a 5-5. Five five. So let's just trade. Will trading incentivize them to open? Trading probably will, because it puts this to 1, and they're not getting attacked back. So we want them to ult, and then we bolt it, play Jace, and then hope Jace wins us a game. They don't have a lot of lands. They're rebuying choke. This is another problem that I did not think about. Did not think about that. Okay. My islands do not untap. All right, let's get a land. Let's stone rain ourselves. Find another bolt. Yeah. Yeah, I, I just, I tossed this game. So that's the card that we have to think about with Neil. Nissa, yeah, Nissa's, Nissa's going to get us. This is the needle target here. Not like to hell with Wirewood Symbiote. We can beat that. This card we can't beat. We want this back. <laughs> we want this now. Um, probably Hymn's not great. Hymn is better on the play, but if we draw two Hymns, that's probably pretty bad. So Hymn is like, oh, I love Hymn to Probably we can just ditch the Skull Guns Command. Even though K Commands is like, it does kill something, I think, I don't know. Nah, let's just deal. Let's just deal with the board. Though, the discard. I mean, each one of these discard cards, which is more valuable against them after sideboard. Maybe we can cut. Maybe we can cut like some baleful strix, because we're not about going long and just get like as many things that make them discard cards. Play the game on as low of resources as possible. We kind of land. Like, is that crazy? Bale Strix is such a good engine, though. Yeah, these are just too slow, I think. Oh, Tombstalker would be nice. Uh, all right, we're going to split it because I'm a coward and can't make an actual decision. I noticed that, like, I have always played decks that I think are supposed to have decent game against elves and just always lose to elves. I think it's like the one matchup that I don't ever want to play because I don't know what matters. Would you like to play first? Yes. We have a brainstorm. We can edict their first play and then into K command. I think I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna look for a way. We're gonna look for a discard, a way to deal with choke. We may have some mulligan in his hand, but I don't know. I could EOT brainstorm, cause like I'm likely gonna use. I'm gonna use my mana here. What does that suck? God, I made my plays. I didn't even think about this. It's going to take my Brainstorm, take my Snapcaster, take my Edict. What are they going to take? I think we're just going to let this go. I don't want to have like a shit Brainstorm. My whole hand's kind of shit, actually. So maybe I'm supposed to Brainstorm. I don't, I don't know. My brain's exploding. Took my K command. Okay.
looking for well those are those aren't bad keep the fetch lands ditch these we just get another bad lands and just not get choked but we're going to be able to play around this choke so let's get an underground city I'm gonna take this visionary. If they don't, if they play scavenging ooze, I'll edict it. If they um, play Elvis, Elvis Mystic, then I'll snap Inquisition the scavenging ooze. Oh, they hit a visionary. You've got to be kidding me. And they're gonna have a cradle next turn. Yeah, I think I just gotta like snap Inquisition. Edict this, then my Snapcast is turned off because of their scavenging ooze. So what I'm talking about, I'm so I'm so like uncomfortable in this matchup. So they probably go Elvish Mystic or the Hitapati. So that's pretty good. I would assume they take my Baleful Strix. Yes. Now I'm going to make any trade I can here. Because I would like to make that Cradle as bad as possible. We're just going to do this now, I think. Like, it's, this isn't getting any better. I just want to have as many creatures off the board as possible. And now we're just going to swing in here. This goes against Dryad Arbor, probably. Nope, they're just keeping it. They have Forest Cradle X. It's not a bad draw. The little snapcaster that could. But mission briefing is just snapcaster mage. Mew. All right. That one's probably got to go. Let's get a swamp so that we have two lands that untap once my opponent chokes me. That turns Elvish Visionary into just like a Howling Mine and a infinite chump blocker. Morph. Oh, what's that morph? What's the elves morph? Uh, no, it's not Dem Protector. Don't they always play one? A Jace will please. No, it's just like a one of. Is it Burstle Rangers? No. Burstle Rangers, okay. It's the tap two elves to make an elf. So, what are we doing here? We're probably playing J Dog Millionaire and Breakstorming and holding this back. And we're going to. I've got two bolts, and because I, I just want removal, but I have more cantrips than removal, so I guess we're gonna hold up underground C and feel kind of bad if we brainstorm into a bolt. So 
That's not bad. So let's not name Badlands with this. Dude, J Dog Millionaire, man. All right, Nissa. Let's do this right. What's the name of the big Nissa? Nissa Vital Force, right? Five mana Nissa. I'm like 48% sure that, I'm like 98% sure that it's that one. Nissa Vital Force, okay. <laughs> Names underground C. Oh, you hit a trophy, you bastard. You mother. You're killing me, Smalls. You killed my J Dog, dude. Now I'm just going to sit over here and salt off for a little bit. What a bastard. Yes. Had a plan. I was going to trade for this. I was going to play my Baleful Strix. I was going to brainstorm to another answer. Then my opponent was dead as a doorknob. That's not what happened. Now we're just going to get the most mediocre beats of all time. Bang. You know, the sad thing about this is we have to play our land so that if we hit Brainstorm, it's just that much worse. Because we don't want to get hoofed out of this game. I wonder if they cut Natural Orders in any matchup. Because, like, Natural Order, theoretically, it, like, you have to sack a creature. So, what is this? This is two, five, three... Dude, it's like we can't we can't take him home with us. This is some sad shit. Oh baby. Let's get this visionary out of here. Mediocre beats is an aesthetic. Dude, I just dealt with that. Oh, here comes the big decision point. Three, seven. I wonder if they hit hoof. Glimpse. Glimpse with like 40 mana is not good. Oh, yes. Okay, so hit this. We go to one. And then we just stay at one. Because we smoke this Nettle Sentinel. So they have a land in their hand. Alternatively, we can just hit this. And then go to one, make it so brainstorm's an actual good draw. I think we just hit the nettle sentinel. We could bring snap back, yep. We're doing okay. Yeah, going up with this Liliana's loose. How are you doing this morning, Rafi? So their card in hand is a land or it's a hoof. So do we want to just K command this now? I probably want to land or hoof. So let's just let's just get this out of here. Um, 
Do we want to return? We're not going to return Baleful Strix, because if we wanted to do that, we should have done that on our turn. So let's discard. This might be loose, but like, I'm trying to think about how we lose here. It could be Glimpse. It could be Glimpse also. Last night, there were no ops in my Miracle decks. There's a land, okay. I think you need ops to play it, Ravi. From what I've played, like, I, as much as I hate that card, I think you need it. All right, we're trading. I will then bring back my Snapcaster Mage. Do I have another Colorado's Command? I don't have... I could just bring back my Snapcaster and Brainstorm. I think that's the plan. Stop spouting nonsense. But three is a lot. What does Slaughter do, Tannen? I, I'm just, I'm not available. I'm not aware of the card. We have a Brainstorm, yes. Snapcaster, Brainstorm. And then we can just trade this thing or edict it, or we can just like really do it. Oh, to the slaughter. Okay. I mean, if you have if you're playing Baleful Strix, you can get Delirium. Oh, we hit a Colgon's command. I don't think I want any of these. Like, I, I like Snapcaster is great, but I don't want two bad draws. So we are going to draw a step. Um, target player discards a card. Dude, when... When Colagon's Command is good... It is probably like the most one of the most disgusting cards you can play against. So then now we roll back Snapcaster Mage, shock them, hit them, Snapcaster Mage kills them next turn. Trophy that. Okay. That's sad. My phone says a little late to the party. I'm just like, very much so, sir. I have to pick my stepdad up in a half an hour. Or my, my father-in-law. Oh, wow. Um, it did work. Good work. Yeah, I think I think to the slaughter probably has some legs. Uh, let's just chill out here. I could have fate sealed, but there we go. All right, we're gonna try to finish our match in half an hour. If my stepdad, if my father-in-law, um, if we don't finish it in a half an hour, I'll just have to cut the stream short. But I would like to finish the league here, especially considering we're going for the 5-0. Yeah, Liliana's, I think Liliana's much better. Like, Last Hope is much better than the Veil vale here. Like, I love me some Liliana the Veil, vale, but, like, it just doesn't. It just, like, Liliana the Veil vale seems like a cool top end for a Delver but probably just not, probably not last hope. We're going to probably, it's probably just not good anywhere else. This deck has some pretty sick late game. 
And I'm starting to put together a team event for, I already like messaged some people. This is why I love team tournaments. I think anybody that like craps on team tournaments just doesn't understand, like has not found the right team or doesn't understand like the communication. No, Liliana the Veil would not have. Um, but I think, I think that like for my team, I want to be able to play this guy. Last hope is in your claim to fame. Like you're talking about like your Mount Rushmore. Yeah, you do just have some pretty ridiculous recursion. I would team with you. It is one of. Well, Tanner, we'll talk about it as we get earlier. I don't know what your like BCW, like you've got you've got your BCW, um, whatever it is, uh your BCW, I don't know what the word is, like what you're required to do. Responsibilities. I would team with you if I played MTG. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, we're going to keep this hand because we have two lands and a brainstorm. Yeah. I assume that you have responsibilities to a team. Like, that is part of having a team. So we're going to him him on two. Even though we, like, crap away some brainstorms. It does feel kind of bad if this is a fluster storm or a spell pierce. Blue-red. So we're playing against, like, a Delver deck. We get stifled. Underground C. I'm gonna assume we're playing against either Show and Tell. Or the mirror or a Delver deck. Okay, that's that always that feels nice. Like you're kind of pissed. So we're playing against a combo deck. We are a little naked here, but it is it does kind of feel nice to have them piss away a brain. I mean, this is like not a very good brainstorm. And we get two cards. We still totally could just die, but someone else would have figured her out for sure. I still remember fighting with Brennan. Yeah, the card's just insane. So force pitch force. This makes me think that we're playing against a fair deck if they pitch the force. Yeah, I think we're probably playing against like Rug Delver. The fetch lands would. I mean, this fetch land with this land would suggest that. Okay. So, like, if we're playing against Rug Delver, like, my opponent can't win. We just need to not play into days. Like that's that's like let's let's like like I've I haven't played against Rug Delver. I actually don't think I've played against Rug Delver ever. So let's just have like a goal of this to not play into days. Because that's what I watch Reed do all the time. Match goals, let's not get dazed once. Turn off auto guilds. So then should I fetch right here? Let's fetch. Let's just let's not let's not get dazed and let's not get stifled. Like whatever. Like let's have them beat me without dazing and stifling me. If they do that, like good on them. The 
Just develop my mana. Uh, I kind of still just want to get an underground sea to not give them an option with their wastelands. I shouldn't turn off my auto yields. Like so far, we've two for one them and made their two and had they've had two poor brainstorms. So I'm feeling, I'm feeling decent about where we are. Bolt this. Waste this. Okay, force bolt it. Sure. Okay. And here comes the old Hoots Magoots. I'm gonna leave this edict around for a true name nemesis. I'm gonna try to get this um this Strix in now. If we could get smacked here, like they force this, then they have one card. So next turn. We'll go him into Edict if we don't get to trade here. We're in a very solid spot. I, fe I feel good about where I am. My man is intact. I have cards. I have, a I have something to trade with. Like, I'm feeling decent. That was pretty much the nut. So let's push this. I guess we can get spell pierced now, but even if we get spell pierced, we still have the strikes back. Man. Shouldn't auto yield. I guess we're a little naked to a true name nemesis now. That's something I did not take into account. We still have the goose under control. All right, that's a really good one. Okay, so now we can play around days. So let's let's do that. And I think we're going to go up on them. So let's go up on me because I'm, I want to keep this fetch land around. Like the odds of me cracking this fetch are pretty low. Because I would like to, you know, do something with my brainstorm. Um, yeah, I think we're going to ditch the ponder. We, we're going to be able to see enough cards next turn where... Because, like, I likely will be able to him because of the Sylvan Library. Like, my opponent's probably just going to take eight. This library is its definitely a way for me to get back in it. Just drove 10 miles to get the wife and I... Ikea bowls. How do you spell that? <laughs> That's a Chick-fil-A, right? It's the old Chick-fil-A goodness. So he just drew one card, okay. It kind of foils my... Him plan. The Sylvan Library might get me. Here's the TNN. This is like a true name nemesis. Oh, look at the Hooter. Hoots Magoots. This is a little combo here. I'm going to just trade. Alternatively, I can bounce the Mandrels, then him them. Wow. Bounce. Super healthy fruit bowl. Oh, and Akia, I know what you're talking about now. So let's him.
Okay, so we got a daze. Now let's eat it. I should have brainstormed. No, I guess like none of my light, none of my cards are that bad. Okay, I'm surprised you can show this thing on Twitch chat. On Twitch here. Another thing that I don't understand about this deck is, like, aren't you just, like, a super dog to all of the black decks? Like, can't you just not beat Dermag Angler? Excuse me. All right, so let's board out some funky cards. We want these. I want this. I want my fluster storms probably. Deluge is like a maybe. Cards I don't want. I probably like. Like I'm, I'm assuming Liliana is not that great. Um, I don't think him is good. I think against a deck that's like so aggressive, I just want all of my cards to play to the board. I have two anglers. Here, Riff Raff. Probably can trim some Jaces. Trim some Commands. Uh, Last Hope doesn't seem great. It's a way to win. So maybe we want that. Chat lag. We'll see what this looks like here. Always struggle. This is the deck I always struggle against Sandra. I was like 10 versus the Delver and they keep. This deck always struggled with the Grixis matchup. Do you mean like your Grixis Delver is good against Grixis Control? I know. I think I like leaving in. I think everybody over like takes Force of Will out too much. Like. Because you have so many ways to like make like to make up for this between Baleful Strix, Colagon's Commands, and Snapcast and Mages that it just doesn't feel that bad. I think this is what we're gonna do. I might want the Deluge just because like yeah. No, I'm not gonna play I don't want the Deluge, I think. We're just gonna do this. Yeah, I think everybody like there's like this tried and true law, I guess, that people say that you board out your forces in fair matchups. And like, whenever I get whooped on in a Delver mirror or a blue mirror, I always see my opponent having forces after sideboard. And I don't know if that's like, if they're making a mistake. Rug is bad. First Christmas. Yeah. I would say it's very, because you just can't beat Gurmag Angler, right? Like, they're literally just dead to Angler. We got a Morgan. We don't have a blue source. Wow, we have a bunch of basics. Nice. Now we're looking for Bale of Strix and ways to kill creatures. I think we're actually okay with them dazing this. Because if they daze this, then we're not getting hit with a Tarmogoyf next turn. Alright, we don't want this Brainstorm. We do want this push. So let's go like this and plan to shuffle with this. A little nervous about a library. Yeah, I think I think Force of Will is just like... Like, it's obviously not one of your best cards, but I think it's necessary. So we're, we're going to ponder because we want... We don't want the top card of our deck. We hit a brainstorm. So let's go like this, actually. Because we did hit a shuffle effect. But what does our shuffle do? All of our cards are pretty solid. It just gets us red mana. I think I'm going to shuffle. Okay. Yeah, these basics are nice here, for sure. Nice. That's going to be tough to beat. 
Uh, like, a library this early is no good for the home team. So now we want Gurmag Angler. But I don't want to, like, crack my... I'll crack my fetch land in my upkeep. But we're not looking for... I know, dude. I'm looking for it. We're going to crack this in our own upkeep so that we can... I guess it doesn't really matter because we're not going to be able to... Because we crack, they stifle, we flusterstorm the stifle. There's going to be two spells on. Yeah, so I guess we can fight over our land drop. So I should put a stop in my upkeep. So now we can't beat flusterstorm. We've got Lightning Bolt, Pyroblast, and Colagon's Command. We have a couple of Pyroblasts and two Lightning Bolts and two Colagon's Command. I think we have three Blasts. We have seven red cards. Stifle. Okay. probably should have fought over that because I knew my these two draws are dead. So let's do this because we do want to shuffle our library at least. All right, well, there's Brainstorm. I think we want Bloodstained Mire. Now, this is going to trade for a Wasteland. More than likely, because we're going to do this. I probably should have done it right there. I'm a little uncomfortable. I'm a little, like, my opponent's putting a little bit of pressure on me, and I'm a little, I'm a little uncomfortable. This is where Reed played the basic island, Bracing Mountain. Okay. Now I think I just want to get the snap. Let's get the Snapcaster Mage on the battlefield, and let's ponder. I want to use my mana fully while this is here because they might end up just cutting this off. We just got ourselves a full retail force of will here. I guess I shouldn't have made my land drop. So we can just force this to have, we can fluster store this to have a 2 1 on the battlefield, which I think I want. I just want a creature. And this fluster storm's not getting great with the amount of mana my opponent has. So let's just, let's just get our, let's get our boy in the bat on the battlefield there. Same targets, same targets. And like this could slightly harass my opponent, um, my opponent uh, with their Sylvan library. And it makes our reach better. So like, like while my opponent is obviously still on the front foot and still ahead of me, I think, at least we're ahead on the battlefield. And if it's Sylvan Library, okay, so now they're down to like. I think it's a moto. Um, I think it's a, it's a moto. Yeah, it's a moto promo. I kind of want to edict this thing.
Like honestly, I think right now, like I just wanna I just wanna like Now that they can turn this thing on. So let's just brainstorm. We can they can daze us now, but we can't really attack. Because if they just go like brainstorm or they bolt us, they eat my Snapcaster. Okay. So I probably should have thought about that beforehand. Yeah, I don't think I played that turn very well. I should I think I should have started by attacking. We are on the back foot. We have three good spells. All right, so my opponent. Okay, so. It might be worth brainstorming to hit a land drop. Because if I brainstorm to hit a land drop, we could be susceptible to days here. Yeah, I think I made a mistake. I think I should have led with Brainstorm. No. Maybe I should, uh, I guess, I think I'm compounding my mistakes here. Yeah, well, at least this isn't getting days. I think I'm I think I'm like playing this a little loosely. Brainstorming. At least my opponent's not doing anything. Now I'm a little naked to like this can only hit um this can only hit, like this has probably got to hit Edict for me to win this game. Not necessarily got to, but I'm like I just hit land drops. I find a bolt, it's going to be a lot of pressure as well. Wow, they went to five. Tormod's Crypt. So I guess I probably actually just flash in Snapcaster Mage and target Diabolic Edict. With this with this thing on the stackery now. Diabolic Edict. Please don't stifle my land. I probably, yeah. I should have fetched first because then I would have known. Like if they stifle it, then I can just like wait. Yeah, that was not good. Yeah, I'm not very happy with how I played this game. I think I like I think I played this game in the way that like I wanted to not play it the first game.
Okay, their library. Yeah, I'm not super happy with how this went. But I have no one to blame. Hopefully we win this game so I can get the 5-0 while we're on stream. Because we're not, I'm not going to be able to play the second game on stream. The third game on stream because I have to go get my father-in-law. Now we're just playing draw go. They're never gonna crack this probably. Yield to this turn. Whoa, that's bold. That's gotta be a that that can't be right. Even if you're like like clearing your library, going down to three, you're so ahead. Like they must have another stifle. So like if I just have lightning bolt, then I don't think I'm, I'm not going to trade with these, this new, this, like if they attack me with the goose, like turn off auto yields. So we have Delver covered. We don't have the goose. We don't have uh, another goose or big. Yeah. I feel like they definitely have a stifle. Because they must have a stifle or like some way to deal with lightning bolt. Because I just I just think it's so loose going down to three. I'm not going to block again. It's very odd of them to attack and then not attack. That's a good one. The question is, do I fight over this? And I think I do. Like, if they have a stifle on top of a counter spell for this Baleful Strix... Or removal spell. Yeah, like we're just gonna like we're gonna die on this hill. You got the third what would it be a third stifle? They're brainstorming, okay. This means the the stifles either on top of their deck or they're hoping it's the third card down. Come on, days. Yes, double days. Double days. All right. It was not meant to be baleful strix. So they've got two lands in their hand. They're going to waste my red source, though. So we're like back at this holding point. Thrown the last troll. Jesus. Like, holy shit.
put a card on top, put a card on top. Looks obvious they're going to do that. All right, I'm going to take this. One of the cards is a land. So we go chump chump down to two. Looks like where we're going. I'm gonna turn the stream off after this game. I guess we just go chump, chump. Don't die to bolt. And now we need a lightning bolt. Lightning bolt, cantrip. All right, unfortunately, we're gonna have to shut the stream off here. Uh, hopefully we get the 5-0, but I appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out. I gotta go get my uh, father-in-law. So I will see all of you later, and I hope everyone has a great rest of their day.